Oh, you great Skyrim mothers tall, how you've changed the game for all, providing us with content through your creative wits. May you never stop giving us them CBBE tits. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing poems now. Today we'll take yet another look at the recent Skyrim Special Edition mods most worthy of your attention. There are some really good ones for this video that I think you all may find useful for your next immersive and epic Skyrim playthroughs. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So in the last Skyrim Mods episode thingy we got going on, I featured three texture mods from the same author, and those mods were fucking great, but it seems like I'll have to bow down in an eloquent bow of appreciation and respect yet again, cause he won't stop producing these high quality mods, so give it up for the boy Clever Chaff, as he's at it again, this time with the mod Clever Chaff's photorealistic white run 4k 2k. You know, there are a lot of white run overhaul mods out there, but I've always taken a big step back from those, preferring the simplicity of JK Skyrim complete overall of the entire province. But since I saw that it was the creation of Clever Charf, I just had to try it out. And much to my surprise, it's quite compatible with JK Skyrim, which kinda makes sense since the mod affects almost exclusively white run texture assets, adding them to the structural influences of JK Skyrim. Now, as you can see, every white run specific texture, both outdoor and indoor, has been gorgeously replaced with 4K textures that'll give you that visual change you may be on the look for to freshen up things a bit for your next playthrough while at the same time keeping it immersive. The colors are more vibrant and a bit warmer if I may. The wood textures on the various houses look so good you can pretty much smell the wood through the screen. The magnificence of the brick textures will make you want to start up your own bricklaying company. All of these textures are wonderfully contrasted by the grass, giving off that white run feel we've all come to love. Out of all the cities of Skyrim, white run is definitely my favorite place to hang out, and I won't be doing any less of that with this mod installed. If you thought we're done with Clever Chart for this video, then you thought wrong, my friends. Clever Chart's photorealistic ash pile, although not as big and impactful as the first mod of the video, it's a good one that I think many of you might enjoy, especially after you see the vanilla ash pile textures. I mean, what is this? Todd, please explain why my ash piles are looking like some weird ass giant decided to eject his inner juices down on the ground here. This just won't cut it, and thankfully, the man, the myth, the legend, Clever Chart made notice of that and decided to add its high quality touch of magic upon the ash piles. The retexture features ash piles with buried pieces of bone, as well as sharper ash texture, while at the same time keeping the glow of the vanilla version to keep it lore friendly and immersive. The pieces of bone really adds that realistic reality of the grotesqueness that goes into being scorched and fried alive by dark magic. I don't know if it's just me, but through an innocent observation of some of the bones, I must say that some look like the vile devices used by the feminine gender to achieve that satisfactory pleasure when disappointed by their counterparts unsatisfactory efforts. Next up, we've got a mod that I've been very excited about since seeing it surface on Nexus. It aims to bring one of gaming's most iconic characters as well as an awesome weapon with unique features into Skyrim. Yes, this is Leviathan Axe Realized and Kratos Follower. Oh yeah, time to unleash that Spartan rage on the people of Skyrim. This mod adds a full functional Leviathan Axe from God of War that can be thrown to freeze enemies and retrieved automatically. It is obtained through a Kratos mini boss fight and trust me, when I tell you that you better prepare yourself for this battle, you better fucking prepare yourself, okay? Kratos won't agree to follow you on your adventures before you manage to prove your worth in battle. And as you'd think, battling a god ain't that easy. I can't count the times I died. He pretty much one-punched me to death every single time. So I thought, hmm, I might have to go with some irregular means of action. Yes, and even still, it wasn't enough to get the job done. So eventually, I regrouped with two of my followers and indulged myself to some mighty overpowerful measures of ways to deal damage. And after some long minutes of intense battling, I managed to defeat him, but just as I was about to talk to him, it seemed like I had overdone it as he turned into a pile of ash, but hey, at least look at them high res textures though! After a couple of more attempts, I was finally able to get the better of Kratos without killing him, and for some reason, beyond my control, that Batunde here was so ecstatic that she decided to pleasure herself right there and then in front of everybody, and with no way of being able to load a previous save or being able to stop this display of despicable action, I was forced to just sit there and watch for 10 minutes straight, oh I'm so going to hell. But yeah, at least I'd now proven myself to Kratos as a worthy companion, and oh boy do I love to bring him along with me to my adventures, no matter what 
the occasion, he always makes sure to assert his dominance, and he really comes in handy when in a rough spot. And of course, let's not forget the weapon. Oh, that beautiful weapon. The Leviathan Axe looks stunning, pretty much identical to how it looks in God of War. It's quite powerful as well, and the throwing function truly makes it unique from a bunch of other weapon mods. It can be used as both a ranged and a melee weapon. When power attacking forwards, it's launched out as a projectile, freezing the target before boomeranging back to you. Throwing the axe briefly reduces your stamina recovery, so you won't be able to go around spamming it, making it a fine addition to any immersive, lore-friendly playthrough. Next, we got two mods from the mod author Soldier of War, who has taken it upon himself to make the smaller villages of Skyrim what they should have been. First, there is the Great Village of Old Hroldan, SSE. As most of you know, Old Hroldan is a small settlement in the Reach. If you know your Skyrim history as well, then you'd know that the Reach is the site of an ancient battleground where Tiber Septon himself defeated an army of Reachmen, making Old Hroldan the very stone which the Empire was built upon. So, the settlement of Old Hroldan has its place in the annals of history, and with this mod installed, it now certainly looks like it. The mod overhauls the entire settlement, while also adding two new farmhouses. The style in which these buildings have been made is inspired by Breton architecture. The inn itself has been massively improved. You'll find new rooms as well as new people. You know, sometimes it's just nice to take a break from all the adventuring to just relax a bit in smaller places such as this. And with this mod installed, you'll definitely have a better experience doing just that. Now as I said before, we're featuring two of his mods for this video, and the second one overhauls another village in the Reach. Here's the great town of Karthvassen SSE. Download this mod and make Karthvassen the mining community it always should have been. This small mining town is the only major settlement left in the Reach still owned by a Reachman, because as you know, the Reach is severely torn apart by conflict between its Nord rulers and native Forsworn. With the people of Karthvassen resisting attempts from any side and keeping their loyalty to Jarl Igman, it's important that the town actually looks like something worth protecting. The old farmhouses have now been replaced by the same Breton inspired style from the first mod. Along with five new NPCs, you can find a new blacksmith, apothecary, and an inn. In the end, what you'll be left with after installing this mod is a dope looking Karthvassen, worth visiting every now and then. The mod author has certainly done a good job with these improvements of the smaller towns and villages of Skyrim. Next up, we got some armor mods to make your character look all fancy and good while playing Skyrim. First up, it's the mod Eureka Chevalerys Armor SE. This armor set has been ported from Aldrin but has been completely overhauled from the ground up, baby, with both improved textures and lighting properties. It even comes with a gorgeous shiny greatsword to match with the armor set. Now, the armor itself is molto bene, if you know what I mean. The way the light reflects off those detailed ornaments in the armor makes me go wild. The combination with between that red dress with the armor on top, making it look befit for a princess warrior of some sorts. God damn! If you can't tell, I really like this mod. It's cute, beautiful, and charming, all while giving off a vibe of danger at the same time. And it's not even skimpy, at least by my standards. It actually looks like it'll protect you compared to many other armor mods trying to provide those good looking looks. You can also choose between different colors when installing the mod. You should definitely check it out. So while that last mod was an armor mod, I'd say this next one is more of an outfit, or perhaps a really good looking costume, it's certainly made to grab the attention of anyone who sets their eyes upon it, as it did with mine. This is the mod Coco's Mermaid Outfit. Yeah, you heard that right, ladies and gentlemen, Mermaid Outfit. This conversion of the mod contains body side files for CBBE and UUNP. As you've probably guessed by now, it makes your character look like a mermaid. You get the iconic mermaid tail, as well as something for the upper body with some cool details in forms of ornaments and jewelry. You even get a wig and some cool decoration to put above the ears. All of this comes in an iconic color of aqua blue. Just look at how good it looks here. Yes, it may kind of look weird when running around on land, but when in water, the outfit just couldn't look any better. You can now realize your dream of swimming around in the mysterious depths of Skyrim as a beautiful mermaid, ready to trick any sailor with your lustrous looks. I never knew Baba Tunde here would look so good as a mermaid. I mean that hair, god damn! I may have to look to make it permanent to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching the video at this point, then let me be the first to tell you that you're awesome. Let's end off this video with some more texture mods. Here we got the mod Vanilla Table Replacers, a simple name for a simple mod. This replaces some of the tables in Skyrim, especially the main tables you'd find in noble households. Now these new tables look both immersive and beautiful. You'll truly appreciate the 4K textures when zooming in or taking a closer look. The vanilla tables looked boring, low textures and bland. This mod changes all of that. 
right? It is really these small types of changes to the game that completely change the atmosphere when playing. So trust me when I tell you, you'll notice the different feel of each room when going inside various buildings with these new tables. As I said in the beginning of the video, the wood looks so good you can pretty much smell that good old wood smell through the screen. So do give it a download. Last up, we've got the mod 4K HQ Cowhide Yeehaw. If it's one thing that's always been bothering me when playing Skyrim, it's definitely those ugly ass looking cows. They look bad, really bad. The same goes for the cowhide you get from killing them, and that is where this mod comes in. The cowhides in Skyrim have now been completely redone with eye soothing 4K textures. It generally makes the cowhide look more hairy as it should. It actually kind of looks like the plush hair would tickle me if I stroked my hand along the hide, which is a very good thing. The texture was made from a real life cow, so it is certainly immersive as it doesn't get any more real than that. When taking a closer look, you'll even see bits of dirt and other mysterious stuff in the hair. Yes, it is very detailed indeed. Now the mod author explains how this took a surprisingly long time to make, and also reveals plans of retexturing the cows themselves, something that I can't wait to get my hands on. So let's give the mod author Mysterious Dawn all our thoughts and prayers to finish the mod. Well everybody, that's it for the mods. Although the game's been out for so long, the modding community shows no sign of stopping. I just love exploring and finding new mods to showcase for these videos, so if you enjoyed this as much as I did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want more, as always, remember to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon to never miss a Sergeant Gim Linio upload. Yeah, may your road lead you to warm sands everybody. This has been Sergeant Gim, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.